Welcome, everyone. Adam DeWoo here as the recording of this Saturday, May 11th, 2024. It is very bright. The sun is right there. Good thing I got my shades on. I have made a 59 or 60 mile commute away from my homestead of Celebration, Florida into areas that are non-touristy, starting off in Umatilla, Florida, a place that I have gone on the outskirts of but never been to the downtown here before. This is going to be my starting point and then I'm going to go into areas and small communities that I have never been in ever. It's getting harder and harder to find little areas away from the tourism, the hustle and bustle and population that Florida, you know, is growing in a lot of areas, but there are some sections where they ha that has not been engulfed yet. And that's what I'm going to feature today, real Florida. And I'm inviting you to join me. Good to have you here. Shall you? I'm hoping to hit quite a few of these little places up. Nature's hometown. Got a classic Ford truck right there. This tire shop. How cute is this little downtown? Right, right. Look at the little bank over there. Got a barber shop flag waving in the breeze. Got the pillars. This is the corner of Orange Lane. And this mural is very fascinating. This dog right here is going after this warthog pig. But the pig, he's got the upper hand. I think the dog is scared of the pig. We also got a turkey over here. A deer. Right there in the foliage. This said something, but it's kind of a Wheel of Fortune moment. Try to figure out what that says, that sunburst. And an eagle up top. Got a little eagle right here nesting on a branch. Now Cassidy at State Road 19. So State Road 19 goes this way. This is Cassidy. This is going to be probably the busiest thoroughfare, hopefully the busiest thoroughfare that I see today, the State Road 19. So I'm going to venture off some of the other little areas. Yeah, you got a deer right there, kind of looking directly at me. You got a fisherman up here in his boat, this pull-down door. This kind of has like a New Orleans kind of feel to it, the uh, building across the way there. First I thought this said fish and chips, but it says fish and chicks. Also look at the vultures swooping around up top there. Fish and chips, but it's called fish and chicks. Kind of reminds me of the place Fast times at Ridgemont High. Got some airboats over here at this Napa. There's a classic truck alert. I think I'm gonna get some coffee here at the Umatilla Superette. Yeah, a Umatilla Superette. Right, here's a little classic car. The one that was over here just left. Also, they are very nice at the convenience store. He's making a fresh pot of coffee for me. They're having an Eagle Scout car wash, $10. This cute little building over here. Number 211 is the address. 211 Central. Pretty cute little downtown. I don't think I've, as far as I can recall, I've never been downtown Umatilla before. This does not look familiar to me. And I have to say, this is accurate. Fast, friendly service of the Superette. The gentleman working behind the counter, very, very nice. Making a completely new, fresh cup of coffee, fresh pot of coffee for me. Got my cup all prepared. Coffee being festooned into the pot at the coffee house. Fresh coffee from a small town. All right, piping hot accomplished. I talked to the guy that had the airboat outside. He also came in the convenience store. The name of his airboat club is the White Trash Airboat Club. He had the shirt on and everything. True story. I like the mascot for this laundromat, it's a bear. Wearing a cross there for a necklace. It's always open. The laundromat is always open. Is it over here? Tucked away. Little small town laundromat. Pretty dang cute. Got the Pepsi machine, change machine. The Pepsi machine has a mural, a little mural in the front with a waterfall, and some leaves. Got the snacks here. Right on the side of the road. Well, 
The front portion of where the laundromat is, is the Twisty Express. A little wooden ice cream cone there. Love the old 70s style plastic signage that you see sometimes. This is Umatilla. It was Miss Bessie's quilt shop I just walked past. Here's the lodge. Look at the old glass blocks in the front making up the windows there. Evidently Big Nasty. Parked his name. Sidewalk. It says USA down in there. And you got the City Hall across the way. Very unique looking building also. The Gateway to the Forest it says there. That's their slogan. Umatilla has a Chamber of Commerce. It's this little building right here. That's the Chamber of Commerce right next to City Hall. Just a little building. There's a little plaque right here. Check it out. Dedicated in 1953, back when J.S. Allen Jr. was the president of the Umatilla Chamber of Commerce. To be honest, I don't know if I've ever seen a fountain quite like this that has the little propulsion putting the water up into the main section there. I've seen plenty of fountains, but I don't ever recall seeing any that have like a sprinkler system type that puts the main bulk of the water there in the top portion of that bowl. Or they're just other fountains that might be disguised with theming where these are just PVC pipes. A few miles down is Altoona, corner of State Road 19 and Lake King Road. They also have painted the road here, that way they, people know not to turn or park here. So evidently this used to be gas pumps. This is now the Allen's well drilling spot, but you can see here where the gas pumps used to be, at least I'm guessing that. You got this old western style storefront, which is pretty cool looking. Hartman's Garage. Look at this old building. Got the bars on the door. A couple little businesses here right along this little small thoroughfare. See the old sign? Now instead of a sign there, it's moss dangling. I think everyone knows when you're looking for a good time. Go to the Sunset Strip. This is it! I made it! Just a dirt road. Into the woods, what could go wrong? It's like how horror films begin. Sunset Strip here in Florida, a little different than LA. Don't really know what would happen if I went down there, but it is in fact Sunset Strip. <laughs> Down the ways a bit is Astor Park. And then just past that is Astor. Take a look at this place. The Dog House. Got the beer sign on the end there. Says bikers wanted. 
doghouse. I believe this is Barberville. And there is quite the yard art emporium across the street here. It's called Barberville Yard Art Emporium. I guess that would clarify the name of the town. Looks massive. They're not kidding. This place has a lot of yard art. There is a giraffe's head coming out the top of that building right there, or the top of that truck. There's a big boy. Always love a good big boy. I wonder if that's for sale. I would imagine everything's for sale. I see a tag on that though. Man, it'd be cool to own a Bob's big boy or Frisch's big boy. Give me a fist bump. I think of Bob's big boy, because you know, the one in Burbank. Bunch of lampposts back in there. There's a big chicken. Oh, look up here. Is that an Iron Man? It's like up in a tree. Barefoot not allowed. Make sure you have shoes or sandals on. No bare feet allowed. Look at that. Man, there's just like a ton of stuff back in there. There's another, there's another big boy. Very, very expansive. I seem to recall many years ago, I'm not on the same route I'm on now. I just bumped into this. Or shaking this is like a metal flamingo but I seem to recall passing by not doing the whole circle around the lake like I am today but I believe I went by the front of this place once many years ago and it was closed I've never been inside walking around and seeing all this I could be thinking of another yard art place though big turtle right down here you got some tables. You get a gator, a little yard gator, $145. It's the back side of a pig. Ooh, Bigfoot. $1,600 for this. <laughs> Mariachi band. Made out of metal. This place is great, it's got a lot of stuff. That big old swing right there. A lot of woodworking as well. This wooden bar. Big old gator down here. Eight hundred dollars for that. You can sit in a horse hiney. The long necked alien there. If I fall, I get a few days off work. A little mister right here. Misting down. Ground gets a little slippy. Slippery. There's Jesus and an eagle. Oh, uh, take a look at this. You got the big dinosaur right there. But look up top, you got Godzilla climbing the top of that tower right there. This like oil rig. Well, actually, this might be. That's not an oil rig. That's the tower in Paris. Good lord, that thing was moving. Here's the Barber Bill, Barberville, Florida Post Office. Zip code 32105. No loitering or skateboarding or bicycle riding or roller skating. Entering Pearson now, the fern capital of the world, that states. Got the water tower straight ahead and 
old service station sitting there not in use anymore. Some cars parked next to it, but it's no longer a service station. Town of Pearson Watertown. This is the Pearson Town Center. Pretty nice. Station 44 here in town, Pearson, Florida. Quaint little community. Connorsville is the name of this area. Pretty good sized building. Obviously used to have some gas pumps out front as well. You can see where the slab was there and the two poles and the little remnants of where the gas pumps used to sit etched in the ground. A pretty good sized building, a little two-story building. Connorsville. There's not a whole lot here in Connorsville, but there is this. No sign of Roseanne. Into Seville now. This gas station or whatever this was. Convenience store. Closed down. Here's the post office. 32190 is the zip code. And there is an active Circle K across the street. Got some people at it. But the other corners are kind of desolate. No matter how small a town is, it will usually have a fire station of some sort and a post office. Most of them do. And it's a little satellite dish. Which I don't think that satellite dish works anymore. I don't think it's plugged in. Looks like the freezers and the coolers are still back in there. Peeking in the window there. Alright, needed to fuel up. We're here now. In a town called Paisley. Paisley Discount Beverages. Gas $3.49 a gallon. Fueling up here at this little tiny gas station. And since I'm swinging through this town, this is Paisley. Been many, many years since I stopped off here. You got a little wishing well of sorts. This is about an hour from Walt Disney World. And there's some Walt Disney history here. Some very interesting Walt Disney history here in Paisley. A little overgrown out here, a lot of ant beds. Right over here are his grandparents on his mom's side. Charles Call and Henrietta Call. since I was passing through this area. I should show this again. It's been many, many, many years since I stopped off here. Again, if you are going to the parks and you want some Disney history, some deep Disney history of the family lineage, this is the place to do it. Take an hour one way out of your day, hour, hour and 15 minutes, hour and 15 minutes back. Charles and Henrietta Call were the grandparents of Walt Disney. The Call and Disney family moved to Florida in 1884 from Kansas. Family settled on land a mile north of Paisley. Charles and Henrietta's granddaughter Flora married Elias Disney in 1888 and later moved to Chicago where Walt was born in 1900. As a child, an adult Walt was a frequent visitor of Paisley with his aunt Jessie Call Perkins. Pretty cool, right? Pretty fascinating how just how existence is. Because if they wouldn't have met, they wouldn't have had a child who would have met someone else. And if that other person, their parents hadn't have met and had them, then they would have would not have connected 
got married, had Walt, Walt wouldn't exist. Or would, would Walt have existed through different parents in another way and he wouldn't have been Walt? It's also very confusing, but also very interesting. If you think about it too much, you go a little wacky. Walt's grandparents right here on his mom's side. Again, a little overgrown through here. Made it back over to celebration now. Much needed day, just kind of venturing around, checking out some small towns. Turning back home. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.